in a world where the voice of the people often goes unheard. There are a few exceptional individuals who rise above the norm, dedicating their lives to public service. Born on August 3, 1962, into the family of A.C. Okejuku of Ubo in Ogoloku government area in Ugu State. Little Toby was filled with dreams and aspirations for a greater future. With his dreams fading before him, Honorable Toby had to clock eight years to enroll into community primary school, Ubo, where he finished from in 1976 and immediately proceeded to St. Vincent Secondary School, Abogugu, Enugu State, the same year. He holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in English and Literature Studies from the University of Calabar, 1982 to 1986, a PGD and MBA from the then Anambra State University of Technology, 1988 down to 1991 an LLB from the University of Lagos in 1994 to 2000, and BL from the Nigerian Law School 2001. He has attended executive programs in John Hopkins University and London School of Economics, ETC. While serving the fatherland in Ogun State, Barrister Okechuku was chosen as COP liaison officer to direct the affairs of all the court members in Ijebu East local government area. During this period, he was able to work in concert with the information officer to launch the Water Land Voice magazine, which gave voice to the hitherto unheard and unsung people of coastal areas of Ogun State. In appreciation of his contribution, he was rewarded with Ogun State NYSC Award by the then Governor Raji Rasaki. In search of a brighter future, Honorable Toby Okechuku joined Fongtai Engineering Company Limited in 1991 as a business development manager. He was one of the pioneer managers of the company, which firmly and steadily asserted its competence in engineering and construction with specialty in oil and gas, as well as underwater and dredging works. He was at the time the general manager of the company and was responsible for management of many local and expatriate staff including the company's successful completion of Apapa Jetties, a major offloading terminal in Lagos State, as well as the National Grid Pipelines undertaken by the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation. He was a former member of Liberal Convention, later National Republican Convention, NRC, and a foundation member of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Barrister Toby was engaged by the office of the Deputy President of the Senate, His Excellency Senator Ike Weremado, PhD, CFR, through the leadership of the Deputy President of the Senate. He was able to do the necessary footwork and interface for the actualization of Deputy Senate President vision and dream to develop his senatorial district. Toby Okechuku's journey into the political arena began with a strong sense of duty towards his community. Recognizing the need for change and the power of collective action, he decided to run for the public office, aiming to represent the interest of his constituents with integrity and dedication. As a federal lawmaker, Toby Okechuku wasted no time in making his mark. He quickly established himself as a champion of the people tirelessly fighting for their rights and advocating for policies that would improve their lives. Whether it was through passionate speeches on the floor of the parliament or by spearheading initiative in his constituency, 
Toby Okechuku was a force to be reckoned with. I have, as a representative of my people, been able to intervene in education, in various infrastructural projects, and in a number of programs that could be for the benefit of our people. In the parliament, Toby Okechuku focused on a wide range of issues that affected his constituents, such as education, healthcare, infrastructure, a job creation, and he worked closely with his colleagues to draft bills and legislation that would address concerns and bring about meaningful change, such as. I, I was just choosing that. Toby has paid, he's going to pay for our wire fees and all the rest of that. So I'm very happy, both my principals and vice, I don't know what to say, I'm very happy. Today is just the happiest day of my life. So thank you everyone. And for Toby, I pray that God will continue to bless him and, and um, give him all he requires in life. I pray that if he should continue being in his, his rank as me being a student, I'll try my best to vote for him. So thank you, I thank you very much, both the principals and schools. Thank you. A bill for an act to establish the Federal College of Dental Technology and Therapy, Enugu, and to provide for courses leading to the award of degrees, diplomas, and certificates in dental therapy, other related courses, and for other related matters connected therewith, which he sponsored in the 7th Assembly. A bill for an act to establish the South East Development Commission charged with the responsibility, among other things, to receive and manage funds from allocation of the Federation account for the development, reconstruction and rehabilitation of roads, houses and other infrastructure, as well as tackle the menace of poverty ecological problems and any other related environmental and developmental challenges in the southeast state for related matters in 2017 among many others i've been working for this uh, for this project for some months now and the honorable okejuku give us that chance Give us that opportunity to develop our, our local government. I pray for him in Achi, two Boho, in Uboga, one Boho, in Ujiriba, one Boho, in a year, two Bohos. His passion for his people's welfare gave birth to the yearly free medical outreach with different activities ranging from counseling to free drugs and surgeries where over 10,000 people have benefited. The area of empowerment, no fewer than 10,000 youth and women in his constituency benefited from the Tobi Okechuku Agricultural Empowerment Program. As far back as 2017, 150 youth from Ogo, Aniri and Oji River were trained and empowered in grass quarter breeding and 150 in snails farming. He also organized an aquaculture training program where 250 persons were trained in fish farming by the Federal Institute of Fishery and Marine Technology. In 2017, over 300 bags of fertilizers were distributed to women farmers selected from the three local government areas with hands-on training on how to apply fertilizers on crops with the overall intention to improve yields of food, crops, and vegetable in the area as well as support to Umuchuku Cooperative Oduma community with the overall intention to improve yields of food, crops, and vegetable in the area as well as support to Umuchuku Cooperative Oduma community to boost their farming activities. 
One of Toby Okechuku's proudest accomplishments was his work in improving education in his district. He recognized the transformative power of education and fought for increased funding and resources for schools. In the area of education, Honorable Toby started an annual educational intervention to cushion the effect of economy on parents in his constituency. This initiative was to cater for Wayek fees of over 1,000 public school students yearly as well as organize debate programs for schools under the constituency for 12 years. <laughs> For 2017-2018 Wayek registration, 54 secondary schools in greater or local government areas benefited the intervention and 13 schools in Aniri, 28 in Ogo and 10 in Oji River local government areas the following year. Enrolled science teachers from 31 schools across the constituency in advanced training where they also receive mobile science kits in SEDI. As an advocate for economic development, Toby Okechuku worked closely with local businesses and organizations to identify opportunities for growth and job creation. He spearheaded initiatives to attract investment and support small businesses, recognizing their vital role in driving the economy and creating sustainable livelihoods. Toby Okechuku's dedication to public service is recognized both nationally and internationally. At his hometown Ubo, he is the Omeloha and at Ihe, he is the Ugo Chinyereze of Ihe. He was recently conferred with the title of Inyi Erioba by the people of Obago, Ogo local government in Ugo state. A devout Catholic, lover of God and the church. A knight of St. Murumba, whose immense contributions aided the completion of St. Anthony's Catholic Church in his hometown, Ubo. He has continuously maintained a cordial relationship with the parishioners and the clergy. Toby Okechuku's achievement as a federal lawmaker were nothing short of remarkable. Through his unwavering dedication, he successfully advocated for key legislation that address pressing issues in his constituency. Some of these projects include installation of transformer, solar power, street lights, and creating of substations in Aboneri Mako, Ohaja Ogu, Ana Ogu Ihe, Mako, Adani Mbidi, Newenta, substation Mbowu, Ifite Mako, and Isiowa communities. Solar street light project in Ubo, Oweli Court, Ogugu, Ihe, Obago, Mako, and the list goes on and on. Another significant area the lawmaker tackled was water supply. Many communities in his constituency lacked potable water and relied on nearby streams and ponds for their water needs. Okechuku's intervention saw the construction of boreholes and water treatment facilities in several communities. This has greatly improved the health of the residents as they now have access to clean, safe drinking water. Toby Okechuku's legacy will forever be remembered as a champion for the people, a visionary leader, and a true advocate for social progress. His tireless efforts continue to inspire future generations of lawmakers to fight for a better and more equitable world. Honorable Toby Okechuku emanates an infectious aura of joy and excitement. He radiates positivity, making everyone around him feel special and cherished. Toby's 
magnetic personality and warm demeanor draw people to him creating an atmosphere filled with laughter and camaraderie his birthday this year serves as a reminder of his impact on the lives of those around him and the important place he holds in their hearts happy birthday honorable barrister toby okechuku omeroha inyerioba one of obago community Hallelujah, 